This is going to change everything about how we fight Halos. Imagine that when you reduce your DHT as low as possible, and you used an androgen antagonist to block the rest of the DHT from reaching your precious follicles, you just feel like you could use like this one last push. Well, that push is probably going to be GT229. Kinta just published their latest results and it is amazing. GT229 is trying to solve the old battle against androgen activity in the scalp, primarily from the hormone DHT or dihydrotestosterone. DHT binds to androgen receptors in the hair follicle, initiating a process that ultimately leads to hair loss. And traditional treatments either try and reduce DHT levels or just block the receptors. However, these methods can have systemic effects leading to unwanted side effects. We see the issue of post finasteride syndrome with, of course, finasteride and other problems like scalp irritation with the topical agents. And this brings us to GT229 and its use of Protac technology. PROTAC stands for Proteolysis Targeting Chimera. And forget about decreasing DHT or blocking the androgen receptor. This technology targets the receptor for destruction and removal from the body. Here's how it works. GT229 molecules consist of two linked parts. One that binds to the androgen receptor and another that binds to an E3 ubiquitin ligase enzyme. Once GT229 binds to that androgen receptor, it also brings the E3 ubiquitin ligase into proximity. This enzyme then targets the receptor with a molecule that we call the ubiquitin, which is like a flag signaling that the receptor should be degraded. The ubiquitin proteasome system, which is kind of like the cell's garbage disposal, recognizes the tagged receptor and just completely breaks it down. This selective degradation of androgen receptor means that GT229 reduces the receptor population directly within the hair follicle, minimizing DHT's impact and doing so without actually altering systemic hormone levels. This specificity is what potentially allows GT229 to prevent hair loss effectively with hopefully fewer side effects. Now let's talk results because I know that that is what most of you are here to hear about. GT recently completed a phase two clinical trial in China. This trial involved 180 male participants who were assessed over a 12 week period of treatment and the participants were divided into groups receiving different concentration of GT, either daily or twice weekly. And the outcome are completely amazing. The group using the 0.5 concentration daily saw an increase in hair count significantly higher than the placebo group with a mean increase of 16.8 hairs per square centimeter. On top of that, the 1% concentration applied twice weekly also showed a crazy result with an increase to 11.9 hairs. The safety profile of GT229 was also great. Reported side effects were minimal and comparable to the placebo group with absolutely no sexual side effects, which are often a concern with treatments that affects androgen pathways. So guys out there who are suffering from post finasteride syndrome, this is definitely something to look out for. Hint of Pharma founder and chairman and CEO, Dr. I'm gonna butcher this, Yossi Tong said the following. 
The conclusion of phase one clinical trials in China and the US has provided a crucial safety and pharmacokinesis data at both local and systemic levels. Our phase two trial has further affirmed the safety profile of this innovative pro technology for sustained local application. More importantly, our trials is the first one to demonstrate the initial therapeutic benefits of topical protect compound and is a better AGA treatment calls for fast efficacy, superior results and reduced administration frequency. We are poised to demonstrate these objectives in our upcoming GT229 clinical trials. So that is definitely a bold statement and something to look forward to being held that promise. And furthermore, developed using Kinto Pharma's ProTag platform, GT, as he said, is claimed to be the world, world's first dermatological topical novel AR degrader. So now there's only one thing we're missing from Kinto again with this wonder drug, and that is their FDA approval. Because I clearly remember the crazy results that Paul Lutzmann showed us back in the days, and the Chinese trials were all so great. But when it came to FDA, suddenly the trials didn't look that great again. So I am going to keep a healthy amount of skepticism due to the history of Kinso and Wonder Drugs, but this is definitely still something that is exciting to follow anyways. But the best combo, in my personal opinion, would of course be to add a receptor degrader to an already solid hair loss protocol. Imagine that you combine this protocol with GT229. Now that is a crazy combination. 